Okay. The grand finale. Welcome back, Ramblers. My name's Amra with the Ramblin' Richardsons, and this is Heather with the Ramblin' Richardsons, my wife. Uh, before we get started, please, please, please go down there, like, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That's right. You may hear some baby sounds in the background because we are feeding our daughter right now. We're having a movie night, so she's chowing down on some turkey and lettuce. We have a couple of snacks of our own we decided to get a couple of new snacks we have a couple of oldies but goodies we're gonna share them with you guys our snack attack for our movie night so let's start off with probably one of the most classic is going to be the peanut m m you get the salty and the sweet. It's a two-in-one go-to classic for movie night. Of course, we're gonna have to open it up. Sharing size. It's gonna have to go ahead and take a little test sample. Quality control. That's right. Mm hmm Good stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Our little peanut approves. That's right, baby. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. We have a grand finale. So you should probably want to stick around to the end of the video because I guarantee you it's going to be pretty interesting and probably really amusing. So, yeah. Mm, maybe we'll do it in the middle of the video. You're going to have to watch the whole thing to find out. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's the one you're picking next. Okay. So this one is, this is my wife's pick. This is a Target brand blueberry and watermelon filled candy straws. So they're two different colors. I wonder if one's blueberry and one's watermelon. Yeah. You okay? Don't choke. Okay. We're good, everyone. Baby didn't choke. Don't worry. Uh-oh. Anytime we say, uh-oh, our dogs come running because they think that we've dropped something on the ground. Ah! Oh, okay. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. I know I don't have to show off the M&M's because everyone knows what an M&M is. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but we have two different color blues. So one side is blueberry, one side is watermelon, and then the end of the straw is white. It's filled with white stuff. Exactly. Go big or go home. Mm. You know what this reminds me of? Yeah. Mm. This reminds me of Airheads. You know, they came in that really thin stick. Better <clears throat> yeah, better texture. It's not sticky. It's almost like it has a matte finish on the outside. <laughs> I mean, we're rating this one out of five. Snack. I'm giving it like a solid 3.8. Like it's sweet, it's chewy, it's a little sour. That's gonna be great for a movie night. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife had to have a second one because these yeah, were so good. <clears throat> okay, so the next one is probably i mean this one is easily i could go and eat an entire sleeve of these meow 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 huh <laughs> biscoff 
cookies. Uh, I did not experience the wonders of Biscoff until like two years ago. I was well into my 30s before I figured out how delicious a Biscoff cookie was. And I only figured it out because it was in like an ice cream, right? Mm. We got an ice cream something that had Biscoff cookie bits in it. And I was just blown away. So this is the classic cookie. They now make cookie butter and all sorts of other Biscoff flavored things. I mean, I think I'm saying that right. Hopefully it's not Biscoff. Pretty sure it's not. But here you go. Try a little, little Biscoff here. So good. Cheers. Mm. It's so good. Mm. It's buttery. It's like a graham cracker, but better. I love me a good honey graham cracker, and that's what this tastes like, but it's better. It's like a cookie version of that, and it's not soft. It's not a soft cookie, but it's good. All right, the next one is a staple in our house. We get all different kinds of this particular snack. I went shopping at Randall's today, and they had Archer grass-fed beef jerky. It's got zero sugar. Um, we really like chomps. We really like um, biltong, um, which is like an African-style kind of beef jerky. Um, but this is Archer beef jerky, and this is nutritionist approved. So shout out. Yeah, I'm as excited as you are. There's a shout out to my nutritionist, Talon. Um, this is part of our snacks for the week. So we're gonna try a little bit of this Archer jerky. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was gonna say the first thing I notice about this beef jerky is that it's oh. soft and it smells amazing. I mean, it really smells really, really good. I don't know if you guys can see that beef jerky there, but it's a nice piece of jerky. And zero sugar. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Great gluten-free snack. Anybody out there who's gluten-free, keto, or just on a high-protein diet, so good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, watch it, little baby. The next thing I picked up, I used to have these when I was little. And it used to be a place in Salado. You could go and get all sorts of old school snacks, like candies and things like that. I was at Target. It's the only place I've been able to find these. And I found a like, carb-friendly, like calorie-friendly version of them. And it's these skinny dips. Excuse me, we are shooting a video. Like I was saying, it's these skinny dipped almonds. It's the lemon bliss flavor. I could eat this entire bag in one sitting. Easily. <clears throat> I usually get at least two bags when I go. Not the cheapest snack in the world, but oh man. <clears throat> so here they are, these little lemon almonds. <clears throat> now, they used to make these, they used to be an old school candy. They would coat them and they'd be like bright yellow. And this is a this is a more calorie friendly version of that same thing. The coating is not as thick. Mm. And if you would have told me 
If you ever tried these lemon dipped almonds, I would have been like, nope. I'm good. But taking a chance and trying it, you would not think lemon and almond would be amazing. It is so good. Mm. Okay. The grand finale. We picked this up at the Asian market a while back, and it's been in the fridge for a while. This is Lester's Fixins Bacon Soda. Y'all get your fixins. This is the soda. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna try it. Now we have to set some ground rules. It has to be a regular swig. It can't be just a little little baby sip. Okay? I'll go first. <sighs> Bacon soda. Okay, like I honestly would never drink a whole glass of this, but that isn't going to make me vomit. Like I could take another swig and I'd be like, okay. It has the like smoky maple-y kind of back flavor, but really all you taste is at the beginning, you just taste sugar. And then when you're like, you're like, oh, bacon. It's actually not bad. <laughs> she promised me she'd do this on video. <laughs> Opinions? It's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it's gross for no, a you, soda. No. Like, this is not a good soda. It doesn't deserve a second swig. It doesn't deserve a second swig, but I'm just saying it's not going to make me immediately vomit. It could, though. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> if you drank a whole bacon, bacon soda, absolutely. So, yeah. Uh, Lester's Fixin's Bacon Soda, I would give this, like, a .1 out of a one to five scale. This is really bad as a snack is concerned. So yeah. Anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap this video up. I wanna thank everyone who has supported the channel so far. Please go down there, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Remember, life's about the journey, not the destination. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. All right, so the next one, and we're gonna have to cut. <gasps> Gotta give the baby more food. <laughs> Girl, you're so crazy. My mom's calling. I'm just gonna have to ignore her call right now. We're filming. Very important things. Hey, we're not feeding the dogs. <laughs>